fun. We now move on to the main event, a triple threat for the heavyweight championship. The next match is scheduled for one fall. It is a triple threat for the YTWF heavyweight championship of the world. First coming to you, your champion, Tor. And there's Tor with his prize belt, probably the longest held in operating days. We don't include the hiatus days. Yes. Yeah, Torps had the belt like probably more times than anybody and probably, you know, longer for longer reign. So that's pretty impressive. I'd say so. We something to see him and Rugged Revelina go at it. To see who is the very best. Next, coming to you, your challenger, Kid Blood! And there he is, having earned contendership, but as well Steve lives here did. That is why it's a triple threat. Oh yeah, triple threat, but it's a one, it's a uh, one falls match if I'm not uh, That's mistaken. That's right, which makes it very difficult. Because so elimination would yes. be much more different. Elimination is a little bit different strategy, obviously. Just beat everyone you can. In this, you'll always get interrupted if someone's left unchecked. It's impressive seeing how fast Kid Blood has rose since he's come into the ranks of the YTWF. Well, he did his homework, he did the leg work, he did what? Next, coming to you, King Steve! Now, as you can see, he is a king, but he is not the king of the YTWF. I guess he liked the title so much, he retained it in his own world. Yeah, uh, it, it was pretty cool after Steve got the belt here. I mean, not the belt, but the crown here. Obviously, he had a channel. King Steve lives here. Yes, we saw that, yes. And uh, it, it's nice to see him embrace the persona. Well, it gives him a gimmick. Yeah, a nice little shtick. And sizable people are usually the better kings. They stand out more majestically. And he very well could be champion. Very well. I mean, this is the type of match where anything goes. There is the belt. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get ready to motherfucking rumble! And there they are, getting ready, looking at each other, wondering what strategy they're going to start with. Seconds away! Well, obviously, you know, there's a little bit of a beef in the history with Torp and Steve. And yes, look, Steve last goes match, straight for Torp. A bit of a kerfuffle there as soon as the news of the three-way came to light. Yeah, that was interesting. Anybody don't know, go watch the last tag match Torp had with Steve. Oh! Yeah, Steve yeah, was I, not going to let that happen. Not this early. But, uh, yeah, Torp was in a tag match with Steve, and they was working well together. Tagging, and then at a certain moment, the message came in that they was going to be in this match together against each other. So all bets went aside, and you know there was no more friendships at that point. Torp quit tagging Steve and helped with Steve's butt getting kicked. And in that match, Penny and Harold became the contenders for tag team championship, and now they are tag team champions. It's amazing how things go and how storylines converge here. It's amazing, but it's a small world, after all. Really hard trying to book all these matches and gigs together. People just don't understand. No, they don't. It's not an easy task. Sometimes you have to rework things over and over before they make sense. Kid but Blood like alone the people, in the ring? Uh, what's that? I said Kid Blood was alone in the ring with him and took advantage of that moment. Yep. Kid Blood is uh, something of a veteran before he ever came here. He was in his blood. Oh, Lord. Oh! Torp goes down hard, and well, Steve... Fireman's carry slam. That would be something Wes, the sweet old man, would be interested in. Exactly. Oh! And now Steve Lives Here comes in. Doesn't look the worst for wear from last show. Oh, oh. right <laughs> Look at that, Steve. Went straight for Torp. He's ignoring the attacks from Kid Blood. Kid Blood is strong, but Steve lives here is numb. Oh, wow. And the king gets gutted. 
That's the best thing I've seen Kid Blood do so far, is take advantage of the fact that Torp and Steve kind of has it out against each other, and look. Oh. That's a three-way mess, yeah. I don't think you're going to see a lot of teamwork with Torp and Steve against Kid Blood in this match. No, I don't think so. Oh, I Lord, don't. Boston Crab. From the Boston Beast. Uh, he also likes Boston baked beans. I get that. <laughs> I have nothing else out of that. I'm, I'm not American based. Oh. Oh, wow. Kid Blood. Thrown down by Torp. Torp better not turn Steve his back on yeah, Steve. There he goes. Time. He's going straight for Steve. See, there's a little beef there. Yes, he remembers, but he was smart. He'll stay away from the Boston Beast and just try and go for the lesser evil. Oh, oh wow. He almost got Kid Blood, but he got Steve Lives here. Wow. Oh, little do -si do right there. There we go. Nope. There he goes. Going for the weaker. Look at Torp coming up behind Steve. Steve sees him. Uh-oh. Oh, Super no. DDT by Torp. Just couldn't do nothing about it. Just sitting the there D. thinking Torp, about it. The DD Torp, I think they call it. What was that? The DD Torp. The DD Torp. <laughs> oh, Lord. Steve. Oh, my. That was a vicious Bulldog little... dog on the Boston Beast. And then Kid Blood just picking up the spare constantly. Now, oh, what's uh -oh, he doing? Oh, he's got he's the champion. Do a bow and arrow off the table. Oh, oh, man. That added some torch to that bow and arrow. Torp got torqued. Torp knew he had to fight back right there. He don't need to let him follow up, but don't turn your back to Steve. He's coming at all times. He wants that belt. Nothing wow. better than a king that's a champion. Steve needs to focus on Kid Blood a little bit more than Torp because he keeps getting hit oh. in the back by him. Torp walloped Kid Blood and then landed his foot right in Steve's face. Oh, a little, little table action. Oh, snap down right on the table. Wake up, Steve! Oh, Kid Blood just stopped the action. Throws Torp in the ring, but oh, Steve throws down Kid Blood. He goes right for Torp. Oh! And it may Torp makes him pay. Oh, Torp is just anxious to keep that belt. You knew that these two right here was going to bring the fight. They're here to bring the show. They're bringing a grudge with them, the Kid Blood. Well, I don't know if he wants part of that grudge. Kid Blood's been doing a really good job so far. I think he's a little bit fresher than the other two because he's been trying to stay out of the way. Yes. Oh! Oh, my! Snap over the back. Going Look, the he's pin. going for the pin! One! One! Two! Two! Three! Oh, oh not no! Quite. Oh, and Torp going straight for Steve. No, and, oh, my. Oh, almost a DD Torp, but now it's a... Oh, look at this. This is, oh, and Kid Blood breaks it up. How did Torp manage that? And look at this. One. Nope. This is where the interruptions come from, the triple threat flaw. Kid Blood should have known not to try that right in front of Torp. Walls of Torp. Oh, my. He's breaking the big man down. And look, Kid Blood letting it happen. This is a smart move. He knows it's not going. Oh, he's just going for the pin. But that's not a smart move. He needs to wait for his right moment. Oh, you know, it wears out Steve to try and get out, though. Oh, and he avoided the whole situation. And oh, oh, wow. There he goes. Whips Torp down with an arm drag. And another got arm Steve drag. Steve right there behind him. He better watch his back. Steve's still trying to get his bearings, I think. This is wise. He can always come in when he needs to. Just keep an eye on things. And look, Torp knows. Torp's getting wise. Kid Blood alone in the ring. Look at this. Oh! Oh, just bulldoze Torp. Oh! The crab on the mat. Or the floor, really. Throws Torp in the ring. Torp misses with the drop kick. He's just disoriented after all that. Oh! oh and, he's just... and Steve's just watching it happen. You don't see him coming in to save Torp anytime soon. Oh! 
I spoke too soon or did look at He's just throwing him in that turnbuckle. All these men are Oh torpedo launch. Oh torpedo launch it is. And uh oh torp going up. Oh, oh my he misses. The boat. Steve's gonna capitalize. Dosey do -si -do. Oh Torp's always got a response. Wow. All outside the ring. Look, oh, another dosey do -si -do right there. <laughs> Close line on Steve Lizzie and oh, on the barricade. All right, momentum's in the moment. Right now, momentum's going for the beast. He needs to capitalize. Throw someone in the ring and go for the pin. Steve lives here. Could very well be champion at this point. Now what's going to happen? Oh. Momentum changes so quickly here. Oh, and into that turnbuckle again. And oh! oh! Going for the pin! Oh my god. One! One two! two. No. Oh! Almost! He was almost a champion right there! And look! And Steve Lizard right back up and into another move. Oh no, he got him in the Tornado DDT! Oh! oh that is... He's got them both down on now. The floor for Matt. Oh, oh, but didn't see him coming. He just took his eyes off the champ. That's the wrong... That, that's a rookie mistake. Look at Torp focused on him, but no. Nope. Arm drag by Kid Blood on Steve lives here. Going for the bridge. And a swing, swinging bridge or something there. Oh, my. And Steve lives here. Oh, shoulder block on Torp. They're just going right back and forth at each other. It's amazing how much they have taken her eye off a of kid blood. Oh, Look at this. Oh, can you smash? Flying oh, leg by kid wow. blood. That's very impressive right there. He's trying to stay on both men. You see that? Yes, I do. And going for another pin. Not with Torp right there. Oh, barely a one. Arm drag on Torp. And a low drop kick. Torp just keeps breaking it up with them little backward moonsault splashes. And a drop kick on Steve lives in down he goes. But now where is the champ going? Uh oh, we better get in there. One. Break two, it up, Torp. Oh. Oh wow. He just missed. Just very close, but he got jaw jacked by the beast. Right now, they really need to wear down Kid Blood a little bit. That would be my strategy. Just put the beef aside for a moment just to keep, get him down. I think down. that is what's going on here. They're concentrating on each other a little more than on Kid Blood, and it, he wins by default. If they could just get him out of the way for a moment, they could focus on each other longer. But every time they focus on each other, he's there to pick up the pieces. We've seen a lot of craziness tonight. We've seen the women's champion change belts. This then might be the best you'll see. champion went and did things that we can't repeat. It looks like the most you'll see them is taking turns on him. You won't see them work as a team here. Well, and Kid Blood just watching the fun. Oh, wow. That was a nice little Frankenstein or Hurricane Rana. And Kid Blood getting the weaker link in the ring or the less fresh. Look, right there. He goes for Steve again. Steve goes for Torp. They take their eyes off of Kid Blood. Oh, oh. going to go on the ten buckle. And he's going up for the top ten buckle. And oh, Port moves no! Steve out of the way. <laughs> he moved the target. He actually helped his opponent. Now he's going to the pin, and that didn't work at all. But that, there's a little help, I guess you could call it, although it benefited him. Exactly. You don't see that every day. And that's why Torp's a champ. He does what it takes to keep the gold. And now Kid Blood going to the top turn, Bucko. Steve catching a breather for a moment. Oh, and now he gets Torp in the knees. But not enough to stop Steve Livia. Oh, and down he goes. Bulldog. And, he, and Torp finally makes him take it. He, uh, excuse me, tongue tied. Torp finally takes advantage of him taking his eyes off of the champion. 
But Kim Blood right back at it. In the turnbuckle. Uh oh. Oh, wow. That's that classic Lucha Libre style. And over he goes, and oh, right into the gut with his boots. That's a vicious splash. Go over the pin. One, One two, two. Oh. oh! Steve's right behind him, and look, he goes straight for Torp. And oh, right over. And he goes down with an arm drag. Kid Blood all over the Boston Beast right now. Kid Blood. Oh. Still seems to be the freshest, but... This is when they need to take advantage of him right now. Steve lives here just barely holding himself together. Talk might not be in bad shape either. But I, I think it's obvious oh. right now that Kid Blood... Is in he has more stamina. He's fresher than the other ones. He hasn't taken as much damage. But all he needs to do is take his eyes off the prize. Oh wow! Oh, how did he lift him up over that? That's immense strength. Wow! And uh oh! Oh my! Oh. Another big splash! Look at this! This could Torn be it! One, One! Two! two. Oh! oh. No. Wow. He was almost a champ again. Look how close he was. He loves using the opponents against each other, literally. Look, he's trying to rip his shades off. And rope break. I didn't know we had that here. Yeah, what the hell? It's a championship match. That's what the uh, co contract for this match, that was the stipulations. All men uh, agreed. Yes. I think 12 packs for that. Yeah, he had to have a way to combat two men. You see what I'm saying? That was it. Oh, going for the pin. And no, no, Torp won't allow it. Once again, they're going right for each other. And look, oh! Oh, he missed. And he got hung up on the ropes. And Steve look lives here and knocks him from behind. And Steve lives here. Oh no, Torp getting the super Wow, that was the first moment of teamwork you've seen between them two. And as soon as it was done, Steve turns on Torp. That's the nature of things. I didn't think you would see a single move of them setting each other up tag team style. Well, remember, uh, Torp did drag Steve Lives here, or vice versa. Yeah, so that he could take the momentum away from Kid Blood. Oh, Torp gets him against the ropes. Torp needs to try to go for a finisher right now. Oh! Kid Blood's finally worn down. You can see it on him. Oh, he's going up. Super arm drag. Wow. And now, oh, what's he doing? He's going over. Steve needs to get in the ring right now. I know he's trying to catch his breath, but he's pretty far away. Oh, he knocked him right in the thigh. Took a lot out of Kid Blood, but here comes Steve Lives here. Look at him going for Torp. Oh, and he stops the count. I wouldn't bet money on anything right now. Wow, yeah, this could go any way. It could just be one. If you just take the right time and you just get the right moment, add a finisher in there when one of the persons is not around and they're out of the ring. And remember, you got Torp this doesn't have to be pinned. Yeah, Torp has everything to lose in a match like this. It's stacked against him. Kid Blood has everything to gain. Steve lives here. He's so seeing red right now with him and Torp's feud. There's no telling where his mind is. Wait, what's he going to do here? I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, not even close. Look, Steve finally goes straight for him. And Steve lives here cleaning up the scraps. Torp lying prone on the mat. That was the smartest thing he could do is take advantage of Kid Blood for a moment with Torp out of the picture. Oh... Uh oh, what's he doing? Oh, he throws him over the rope. And rope. Oh, Torp went by, but it only grazed Kid Blood. And look at him trying to drag him by the mask. He wants. To, well, we all know what he looks like anyway, but. Oh, oh look at that! Curled him down and taken him over. That was a vicious snapmare. 
That's what that is. Uh oh, he's going up. Again, yes. Oh, my. And over. Oh, Bang wow. On. Another moonsault. He always seems to take a lot out of himself. It takes a lot to push that muscled oh. body around. Going for the pin. One. One two, two. Three. Three. Whoa. Oh, my. You got a new champ. Kid Blood has become new ITWF champion. He had to put the moves together to get the Boston Beast out of the ring and take advantage of the damage that him and Torp, that the, the battle between the Boston Beast and Torp has done. He took advantage of it. And now Kid Blood, with all the promos and all the training and all the matches, has made champion. It took his famous snapmare and that moonsault from the top rope wait, to do wait. it. Wait, wait, what's going on? What oh, the hell? Oh, no! Cashing in! He He's doesn't the have the shirt on. He cashed it in. He's coming. Oh, he's coming oh for the God. belt, baby. He's coming up there. Oh, Kid Blood. Oh, is and too Kid tired. Blood is just he, tired. He dropped the belt. I think he's in a state of shock right now. He didn't expect this after that long, long, long moving match. This could no, be another no. short title reign, like Miss Famous. Oh, Reality no. Reality check. That is vicious. What is he gonna do? Going for the Here we going for the one. Two. Two. Oh. Wait, who's this? Oh. It's Penny. He came out of nowhere. And Kid wow, Blood's trying to Blood fight off Penny. after the shock that Gary Realities has. Now Penny's helping Kid Blood. Amazing. And there's no, there's no one's calling disqualification. I guess that was the. But look at Kid Blood back. sitting here attacking Penny Wise. He don't know who's his friend or foe right now. His mask is on wrong. He doesn't know what he's doing, but he's pending for his life right now. He doesn't know if this is a triple threat or what. Uh oh. Penny draws. Oh my. Penny finally gets his revenge. Kid it's been Blood. a long time coming for that finisher. Kid Blood trying to figure out. He looks like he's confused. He doesn't know what to make of all this. Wow. Kid Blood, he doesn't know what to do. Oh. The, the best thing Kid Blood should do is just wait. He's still involved in a match right now. Remember, this match is on. It's live. It's a match. Oh, he just threw it into Kid Blood's arms. Oh, that was perfect. I think we know what's going to happen now. Oh, no. One. One. Two. two three. three. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Two. Two victories in one match in one night for Kid Blood. The, and he is now the undisputed champion of the YTWF. He has done, got the belt and defended it in one night. And no t-shirt to worry about now. The storm has passed. And Penny and Gray have finally come to fruition. I think their journey is over. And Kid Blood has just begun.